CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us now live from Chicago Police Headquarters with more on the transition and the man who's now going to be at least in the interim filling Johnson's shoes. Megan. Right, Brad, sources tell us Charlie Beck met with members of the CPD command staff this afternoon, and many of them were stunned by the announcement. This afternoon, our cameras also caught up with him as he was leaving Chicago Police Headquarters. Now, Interim Superintendent Charlie Beck sent an email to all police officers today, acknowledging the fact that today's decision came as a shock for many people. I know that the events of this morning likely caused a great deal of unease, but rest assured this department is stable, strong, and headed in the right direction. This was Beck back in November. But the transition will be seamless. There, there'll never be a time when you, you don't have a superintendent in the chair. You know, we're going to overlap. Uh, uh, superintendent Johnson is he's retiring. He, he will still be available. He's <laughs> promised me that, that that cell phone will never be shut off. And believe me, I will use it. And with Johnson now fired instead of retired, it's unclear how much Beck will be relying on him for guidance. In his email to officers, Beck went on to applaud CPD for their recent drop in gun violence. He also said he'll be visiting police districts and areas over the next few weeks. The 66-year-old retired leader of the Los Angeles Police Department has also made it clear that he's an outsider coming in on a temporary basis to help move things forward and selecting a permanent recipient for the $260,000 a year job. It will be up to the nine member Chicago Police Board to conduct a nationwide search for a new superintendent and come up with a list of three nominees to send to Mayor Lightfoot. Today she said she's looking forward to a leadership change. I am confident that the interim superintendent Beck is such a leader and that both he and the eventual permanent superintendent will serve with honor. You may remember that then Mayor Rahm Emanuel actually skirted the police board process when appointing Johnson, who didn't initially apply for the job. Lightfoot has said she will respect the police board process when they're picking that permanent successor. Live at Chicago Police Headquarters, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Brad and Erica. All right, Megan, thank you. And we have been digging into the Johnson story for months now, and you can catch up on all the coverage that led up to the top cops firing at cbschicago.com slash Eddie Johnson.